Those are some of Amber's drawings. We're making stickers out of her stuff for the Ludicon next month. It's the first time we've ever made products from her stuff in, uh, I'm excited. Okay, it's Monday, April 17th, 2017. Uh, day 55 of 100 days of making comics. And I'm on my way to work. A lot to do at work today. Well, I'm on my lunch break. I was about to get a sandwich, but I think the building's on fire. I decided to get it to go. was good today. It was a good day overall. I mean, other than the fire, but that worked out. I didn't have a lot to show in class. I showed the one page that I had done and got pretty positive feedback on it. Showed a little bit of the some of my thumbnails for later pages. <laughs> I really I feel like I went backwards this week. Sometimes you gotta slow down to move faster, if that makes sense. <laughs> I really wanted to be farther along by now than I am. I feel it coming, like this, the pressure for this convention is coming up pretty fast. But stickers are coming along. Stickers, and I bought a button maker, button machine. That's something I've been wanting to buy for a long time. So now we can just randomly make buttons for whatever. <laughs> I voted for a Cylon. I'm definitely going to finish this story. Yeah, I may not finish it in time for Lubicon. I may not be able to finish it by the end of this 100 days, but I'm definitely going to finish it. And when I do, I'm going to print it and I'll put it online and make it available for you guys to get if you want. This project is about me finishing something, finally. And I, I actually may continue doing this doing uh, sort of video updates after the 100 days, just not uh, daily. Because <laughs> the daily videos do cut into to the, you know, my work time. It cuts into, like, everything else. But it also holds me accountable, which is good. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to see how far I can get first. I have to keep in mind that when you're learning a new thing, it is so difficult and frustrating, and you would rather do anything else. But there's a point where you've done it enough that you don't have to think about the rules anymore and you don't have to think about the process. You just do it and, it's, and it just flows. I know that from, you know, inking comics. I know that from um, doing people sketching and doing prop design and character design. Like, that stuff just sort of flows out of me because I've done it so many times that I don't have to think about it anymore. I, I, I know all the rules. I know what not to do, and I can ignore all of that and just do whatever I want. But with the storytelling and um, laying out laying out a story are really difficult still for me because I haven't done it enough. But I can't wait to get to that point where it's just fun. It's like breathing. And I want to keep taking classes, and I'm going to keep doing short stories until that happens. But this is the messy ugly, embarrassing part where I'm at right now, yeah, which is awkward that I'm sharing it with you guys. <laughs> One of my intentions for YouTube this year, I said, as soon as I start doing videos again, I don't want to do videos that say, look how amazing I am. I want to do videos about what it really looks like to be an artist. Like, it's hard. If you want to get better at something, it's hard because it, it like really, it humbles you and makes you, shows, exposes all your vulnerabilities and weaknesses and uh, it's and it, putting stuff out there, it, it suddenly makes you readily available to be compared to everybody else that's out there. And yeah, 
So that's the kind of stuff I'm wanting to show from now on in my videos. So this is just a quick update. Uh, I'm going to bed. Mondays are usually really hectic for me, but it's good. I'm not complaining. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow, and as always, keep smiling. <laughs>